All right, I am working on an older Dell here. Um, gosh, I don't even know the model number of this thing. Let me see. Close it up and find it. Well, it's not too old. Um, huh. Yep, it's an Apoplex GX280. So yeah, this is an older, older model, but it uh, can definitely be used for my purposes, for like a tax computer or something like that. It's got an onboard video card, and uh, I don't even know what kind of video card that is. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Cannot tell. Well, anyway, what I'm doing so far, I think I've diagnosed an issue with it. The giant power supply. This is actually one of the bigger ones I've seen in these Optiplexes. It takes up, like, let's see. Uh, get it right here. Yeah, it goes in something like that. And, uh... pretty big one so anyway yeah it won't turn on pretty much think we've narrowed it down to the power supply so I'm probably going to order another one to uh, replace it and fire this thing up because it still has a in my opinion it's still got a good bit of life in it you know especially for my home based business you know, an optiplex like this can actually come in handy you know it's got the old printer ports but mostly mostly everything it's got a lot of USBs on it even got the little VGA adapter for the HDMI, um, or not HDMI, but DVI port for the video card. And uh, yeah, this one's actually got a nice processor fan and a little, little vent system where my other Optiplexes don't have that. So, yep, I guess I'm going to be ordering me uh, another power supply and we'll see if we can resurrect this thing. So, uh, probably not much worth salvaging on it, but oh well. Yep, so this is a PS5161-7DS power supply for the Dell. Uh, Optiplex GX260, I think that's what I said. So, yep, we'll go ahead and price one, see if we can find a replacement for it. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and test this hard drive because I noticed it was a little loose in here so I'm making sure that it's all right yeah I heard it fire up so we'll see I'll go ahead and fire my computer up and test it and yeah this is a Hitachi Deskstar 80 gig so see how it runs yeah looks like it's found it Well, that's good. There's the hard drive. And, yep, local desk H. Alrighty then. Alright, so hard drive is good. Just want to make sure that I didn't have a hard drive issue with this, so. All right, now we'll go and order a power supply. All right, so my new power supply just arrived. So I'll go ahead and pop this in. And I went ahead and scavenged some parts off of the old one that's not working anymore. So, all right, I'll go ahead and install this one and see if we can fire this thing back up. All right, power supply is in. Just pretty much snapped in the grooves. So it's locked in, got everything plugged up. Including the hard drive and then the other disk drives. So I'll go ahead and close it up and see how it does. All right, we've got it hooked up. Just a little basic system of K 
keyboard, mouse, monitor, and internet. So let's go ahead and fire it up. See how it does. Okay. Oh, Windows XP. What do you know? Well, at least that's a positive sign. It's starting up. Yep, all right. Looks good. Oh well, I don't have the passwords to get into this, so I'm probably just going to have to shut it down. At least I know it works. And, uh, you know, we'll get in and do updates on it another time so but yep there you go just swapping out a bad power supply on a optiplex uh, g26 is that 280 barely read it yeah it's a gx280 uh, Dell computer so and this can be upgraded to Windows 7 which I may I may do so anyway there you go Thanks for watching.